$82 billion state budget that you paid for. But if Florida's new Speaker of the House has his way, you might just get a break. He promises to cut out the pork. We're holding him accountable for that. And uh, that's why Mark's on it tonight. Mark, Richard Corcoran is starting to develop a reputation <laughs> as a penny pincher. Well, he sure wants to pinch our pennies, and that's putting him on a collision course, quite possibly with some of Tallahassee's power elite. Now, some of the speaker's proposed cuts, uh, as we said, put him on a collision course, and he not only plans to lower state spending, but he also wants to radically reform the way the governor and state lawmakers dole out billions that you paid for. And that is going to shake things up. Message House Speaker Richard Corcoran was outraged when he found out taxpayers forked over a fortune for this music video and other promotions by performer Pit Bull. Corcoran sued to make that million dollar contract public and Pit Bull published it just days later. Now Corcoran is hunting far bigger game in his cost cutting shakeup. Florida lawmakers and even the governor. We want to do the right thing and for the lack of a better phrase and damn the consequences. For starters, Corcoran is going after the governor's pet project known as Enterprise Florida. That jobs program offers millions in tax incentives to lure corporations to Florida and is all Governor Scott ever wants to talk about. We have added over a million jobs in five years and two months. 1,127,000 jobs. The biggest issue we had in our state at the time was jobs. I hope they talk about jobs. I'm going to finish this job. It's a great job. Corcoran claims Enterprise Florida doesn't deserve a dime of taxpayer money. I believe you've referred to that as corporate welfare. Corporate welfare? It's actually, I'll even, I'll go deeper. It's socialism. That, that's de facto socialism. And that's not the only spending Corcoran plans to kill. He now requires that every dollar a House member plants in the state budget for so-called pork projects must be fully disclosed. Lawmakers have to sponsor a bill requesting money and put their name on it. That accountability, I assure you, will cut a billion dollars out of the budget. State lawmakers used to secretly slip pork projects into the budget after midnight, but not on his watch. What we're finding is tons and tons of examples of when we flip on the kitchen light, all these funding mechanisms out there, the cockroaches are scattering, and we need to finally figure out a way to uh, put that to rest. Cockroaches, socialism, the new House Speaker doesn't hold back. We'll be watching to see how his spending reforms work out when the legislature convenes in March, Jen. Wow, I mean, he doesn't hold back. <laughs> no, he and sure doesn't. He's very vocal, and he's going after special interest lobbyists in a very dramatic way, too, and I've got to imagine that's going to ruffle some feathers. Oh, it certainly is. For starters, he's banning the practice of lobbyists being able to text the lawmakers when they're actually in session and in these committee wow. meetings, and he's also banning the practice of lawmakers becoming lobbyists for six years. Uh, they have to wait after they get out. So that's not going to go over well. You can be sure of that. All right. Thank you very much, Mark.